Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. Today we are doing the Monte Cristo 1935 Anniversary Edition Double Diamond from Al Presidente. He was nice enough to send me one of these very expensive $150 cigars uh, that has this band on the bottom. It just kind of fell off when I was taking some pictures. So. Let's take a look at the cigar first, and then we'll talk about all my issues with the cigars. Here we go. Monte Cristo 1935 Anniversary Edition Double Diamond with Diamante. Comes in 6.5 by 54. Priced at whopping $150 a stick. Wrapper is Nicaraguan, binder is Nicaraguan, and filler is Nicaraguan. Limited to 250 boxes, and with the high taxes on um, different places, such as California, it would be around $234 in California, and $262.50 per stick in New York, with this limited 20 count box packaging. Let's see how that goes. $150 is very hard to reach for my standard. Okay, we're back. So you see, this cigar is essentially a box, square box press that they call Double Diamond. Um, it's a very big cigar. It's six and a half by 54. Uh, but $150 stick. That is very hard, very hard number for me to justify. Uh, again, big thanks to our Presidente sending me this cigar. Um, yeah, I mean, limited edition humidor with a cigar that... Uh, it's just really hard. It's a, it's a Nicaraguan Puro. Um, but like I said, yeah, there was this white band. It just kind of fell off when I was taking pictures. Can't say much about it, so let's just get started, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Mm. It's kind of chocolatey and woodsy at the same time. Let's cut it. This better not explode on me. Draw is good. Um. Uh, Damp, wet. Mm. Mushroomy. <coughs> Whoa, what is that? Yeah, a little bit mushroomy. A little bit of sweetness, too. All right, let's give him the proper treatment.
tastes like right away is like a charred oak barrel. Some spice. Some like generic bitterness. Some pepper at the end of that gen uh, generic bitterness. A little bit of cedar somewhere as well. Mm. Not much else. It's peppery. The pepper started to raise up a little bit. Feel like the strain's roughly medium plus. So let's smoke one third and I'll be right back. Uh yeah, somewhere there. Okay, I think we're at one third. And this thing kind of ramped up to full strength. Some pepper, some cedar woodsiness, some kind of watered down sweetness. Some chocolate. That's pretty much it. But like the more I smoke it, the more you get that full strength pressure. And it's going at it. It's like, hey, I was supposed to be a two hours ago. You got to slow down. Like, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll slow down. I'll slow down. But if I don't keep going, the flavor is not that strong. The, the body isn't there. It's, it's tried to go more of an elegant side than uh, like a flavorful side, I think. Uh, but it's still on, on that smoothness. But it's, I, you can see what they are trying to do with the cigar. Like I said, it's a kind of elegant, kind of... Ooh, I'm expensive kind of cigar, so... I don't know. We'll continue the second third and we'll see some bands and we'll see where that goes. But I need the, the body to come up a little bit and the, and the strength to go down a little bit for this cigar to be good. Be right back. All right, second, third, second, third. So second, third, I would say the flavor kind of ramp up a little bit, a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more. Uh, mm. Cologne like. A little bit more pungent. Has a little bit mineral algae, earthiness, undertone. Um, strength didn't go down, but body came came up a little bit. Not enough though. For me, it's not enough. I, I think it little, it needs a little bit more. We'll see if last there that fixes it. But 150, I haven't seen that yet. It does have good decoration though. Let's first see the second band. It's got two diamond now instead of one diamond. There you go, two diamond. All right. And then the main band, white and gold. White and gold. Looks good. But I'm going to say Monte Cristo still tastes like Monte Cristo, really. Not crazy, not enough of flavor for me, especially for a Nicaraguan Puro. Just hoping for a little bit more with this amount of strength. Not there yet, but. Yeah, I, I was going to say it could get there, but if I think about it, 150, no, it can't get there yet. It probably will never get there. Uh, what you're paying majority was for how limited it is, 250 boxes, and how like that decoration of that box is really decked out. That's pretty much it. So let me smoke, uh, smoke the last third, and we'll, we'll see where that go at the end. Give it a price. Be right back. All right, last third. Um, the strength didn't change much but the flavor and eh, went back down so it didn't get it didn't get to my expectation it's just more of a more of a uh relaxing elegant soft easy but strong cigar per se i, I don't think they it, the flavor got to what they think it's gonna be 
it just never got there. So it's not it's not 150. Um, whatever you're buying, you're buying the exclusivity, you're buying the the decoration, you're buying the box, you're buying being able to have it, but not not for cigar flavor. Not for cigar flavor. There, there is not a lot of flavor. There, you know, over time you kind of get okay, uh, because I know the flavor is light. I it takes a little bit more focus to get the flavor, but that's pretty much it. So you get a little bit of coffee, chocolate. You get a little bit of very minor saltiness. You get a little bit of cedar. You get a little oak. You get a bit of sweetness. That's pretty much it. It's not. It's not a very crazy cigar. It's not hundred fifty dollar worth, in my opinion, right? So, for me, I think I gotta rate this cigar at mm, roughly eighteen to twenty dollar range here and there. Uh, it depends how you see it, and that's that's taking consideration for the box. Uh, without it, it's probably fifteen to eighteen dollar range cigar yeah so yeah unfortunately that's what it is i mean if you like multi crystal you kind of have an expectation for that if you smoke all the other cigar multi crystal is just one of the brand you smoke you you know it's like multi crystal tastes like multi crystal right so i, I don't see a big hype on this thing i don't see the 150 dollar in there but if you are a collector and you want to have that as a conversation piece on the table okay makes sense but still quite a bit of money right you're paying three grand just to have that on the table you could have to get out of other cigars right so it's for it's for specific collector it's for specific smoker it's for specific type of target not average people so like if you're an average smoker skip it you're not gonna you're gonna not gonna lose much but if you like to collect stuff that's what you get okay so yeah that's what it is uh big thanks to al president sending me the cigar because uh, this cigar is one of those otherwise I would not go pur purchase because I know uh, I will be disappointed if I bought it and I know that for a cigar to get to $150 price mark is very tough it's very hard so yeah so thank thanks to El Presidente for me to um, you know give me the cigar to review he did say that I don't have to review it I just had to enjoy it but I figure I was still review it and let people know how how it's like to smoke one of these cigars and and have a, a realistic com um, expectation of what you're buying you know, sometimes you're buying a cigar for collecting sometimes you're buying an exclusive cigar just for conversation piece or just because you feel like it so it's just it's not like okay i'm gonna enjoy 150 dollars worth of cigar it's not gonna be in this okay so yeah it's, it's actually getting quite empty on the top so it's a little bit underfill on the top it's not much to it. You can see. There's not much to it. All right. So yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and make sure to check out podcast. Uh, we are going to catch up on that now that I'm back. And uh, make sure to check out our membership. We have giveaways. And check out Swag. All right. Cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.